guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jade, also known as C Starbuck on YouTube and Instagram. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to share with you guys the things that I've been absolutely loving this past few months, actually just in the summer months. Some clothing pieces, handbags, skincare and little other things. Hopefully this will be fun and enjoyable for you guys and without further ado, let's get started. So starting off with a couple of ready-to-wear pieces that I've been really enjoying. There are two pieces. One of them I am actually wearing right now. This is a top from Magda, which I've really, really been loving. I love the texture, I love the design. In fact, I've been just really enjoying everything this brand has been putting out. I discovered it here on YouTube, Sue Tamara. I did not know about this brand before, but then after seeing a couple of her pieces, I decided to pick up a couple. The top being one, I also picked up a bathing suit, also picked up a skirt which I all really really love and adore so definitely I think this is a fun brand for those of you looking to add I guess basic-ish pieces with a twist. Next I'm wearing these trousers from Philippa K which is another brand that I've been really enjoying. I love their basic pieces. They make a lot of suits for women which I really love. I like their blazers. I have a couple of pair of trousers from them. These ones I got recently for the warmer month and I've been just really enjoying. Next I wanted to show you guys two dresses that you've seen actually in the vlog when I went to Italy. I have just been adoring these two dresses. They're from a Positano based dress shop. It's called Luisa and I will attach their Instagram in the description for you guys but I honestly love love their dresses so much. Because everything is handmade and fully linen, it's so breathable and so nice to wear for the summer month so I've definitely been enjoying these two dresses a lot. Next moving on to handbags. I have been enjoying a particular few pieces in my collection. I think because it's summer and I'm just in the mood for a bit of color and something summery. Let me grab the first piece. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram or just have known me for a bit, I've owned this bag for quite some time. This is from the way. This bag is so useful and practical, especially when I'm on vacation. This is like my go-to bag. You can just see it's so simple. It has these straps that's adjustable. So there's buttons here that you can choose to make the strap longer or shorter it goes on a single shoulder like this and the inside of it is literally just like that it looks really simple but because of the way it's designed and the way it's built it's super durable and it fits so much I mean I've traveled with it I've squished it like many things has happened to it and it's held up so well I'm so impressed with Lois quality if you guys know I got another bag this summer because I wanted another bag that's similar to this because I've enjoyed this bag so much I got the one from Celine that I wanted for quite some time and let's just say that one didn't really live up to my expectations it's not as comfortable not as practical things kind of falls out of it and it does not fit anything this fits so much so anyone looking for a summery vacation handbag highly highly recommend this specific model next moving on to chanel mini square i think you've guys seen it maybe once or twice on my channel this bag has been getting so much use since may or june i've been using this bag literally non-stop i don't know why just the size of it i mean being white is just not nice and summery but the size of it is really nice and the fact that I can easily wear crossbody really really helps. I think some days I just want a bag I can throw on and not really think about and this is the bag that I go to. I think this is one of the last two bags I've bought from Chanel after the crazy price increases and the decrease in quality for the similar kind of reasons that I like this Chanel Square. My Hermes Constance <laughs> is one of the most used bags for me lately. You can wear it on one shoulder or crossbody. You can just, you know, play around with the strap length quite easily and that just makes it a lot easier to wear for me day to day. It fits a decent amount. I have a few Constances. This particular one I've been using a lot because of the color and this whole combination just makes it super practical, super weatherproof. Epson surprisingly does okay in rain and Constances in general fits a decent amount. This is a constant 18. But you can see it fits a lot. It doesn't have the new mirror that comes with the newer edition constants. Lastly, it's also not a surprise 
surprise, it's my Mini Kelly in Lemoncello. This is new to my collection since May of this year. So I have unboxed this here with you guys on my channel. I got it in celebration of our trip to Italy. I really wanted a little bright colored bag in green or yellow and this is the one that my essay offered me. Honestly, I used this bag so much on our trip. I brought two bags in total for the Italy trip because I didn't want to travel with too many handbags. One of them was the Celine Raffion bag, which you guys know I didn't really like. And then the other one was this. And let me tell you, I've literally used it every single day on our trip to Italy. And it's just been super practical, such a nice bright color that actually goes well with every single thing I was wearing. So I was wearing blues and grays and white, like all the colors that I usually wear. And for some reason, this yellow goes surprisingly well with blue. And honestly, I am so happy that I have this bag in my collection because everything else I own, as you guys know, is a bit more muted. And this is definitely a nice pop of color and a bit of a change. As you guys might know, this is actually my third Mini Kelly, but it's my only Mini Kelly in Chev. It is softer and easier to get in and out of, but I also noticed that it tends to show wear faster than my Epson bags, especially around the claps. It kind of gets black. I've cleaned them off now. If you look closely, you might be able to see that over here, when I'm wearing it all the time, it really becomes like black and I don't know why. I think maybe it's the hardware rubbing off, which also makes no sense. It's not like it's tarnished, so it's just an observation. Lastly, I wanted to share with you guys little things that I've been really enjoying in my life the past few months. One of them is actually skincare. I know I don't really talk about it on my channel, but my skin went through something the past few months. It just really hasn't been happy, which really got me to change up my skincare routine and the kind of product I've been using. So I wanted to share it with you guys in case you're also going through something with your skin and you're looking for something to really calm down your skin and to get it into the best condition possible. So one of the brands that I've been absolutely loving is called Skin 104. It's a Korean skincare brand. There's a few products from them that I've been really enjoying, but one of them has to be the toning pads. So these are the toning pads, as you guys can see here. And basically what I love about them is that one, they're really hydrating, two, they're really calming on the skin, and three, it's the shape of them. If you can see their shape, like a little half moon, which makes it so perfect to put on the skin. Let me show you guys quickly. They come like this. This is what they look like. And they stick on so well on the skin, if you can see. See how perfectly it's blended into my skin and honestly it's just so hydrating and so soothing. Whenever my skin feels a bit like itchy, irritated or I have a breakout, I would put these on and it would really help in calming down my skin and making sure that my skin is hydrated and can recover the best that it can. For toning pads, if you guys have never used them, I use them right after washing my face and I spray my face with some mist first and then I put the toning pads on top. And then after, I guess, like five to seven minutes, I remove them and then do the rest of my skincare. Two serums that I've been really loving from the exact same brand. So this one is their classic Centella Ampule. Basically, Centella is a very calming ingredient. And this serum, I use it to, again, really calm down my skin, to help with the inflammation, any active pimples. I mean, it doesn't actually kill the active pimples, but what it does is to really calm down the skin. And I think because I was using more aggressive ingredients on my skin. My skin was quite sensitive. Definitely for sensitive skin, this is excellent. And the texture of it is really nice. I like how it's not sticky. I'm really picky when it comes to like the feeling the serum leaves on your skin afterwards. I don't like anything sticky. And this is super liquid. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it runs down the skin really easily. It gets absorbed into the skin really easily. And I just really love the texture of it. So this one is, again, another serum from Skin 104. This is a brightening serum. I think it has vitamin C and a couple other ingredients in it. I didn't actually do too much research into it because I loved their other product line. I just assumed I will probably like this and I was right. It's super pretty because it has these little beads in it. 
that kind of pops when you put them on your palm. I actually don't really use this on its own. I combine it with another product and I find that the combo to be really effective at evening my skin tone and kind of helping me recover from any acne mark that may be left on my skin. And the other product is this. So I've actually heard a lot about this product before I got it. You guys can see and frankly speaking when i used it on its own it didn't really do much to me i know niacinamide is great for correcting dark spots and i've tried different niacinamide formulas and frankly speaking anything that i bought from the drugstore in paris didn't really work well with my skin it just doesn't seem to absorb into my skin but this one seems to work really well at least i don't really feel like it's too heavy on my skin the only time that i actually felt a visible difference is when i combined these two. So I actually use these two together. I literally mix them together to use at night as my serum if I want my skin tone to be more even and kind of help to fade my dark acne scar marks. Next is a new product I discovered that I've just been super loving. It's from Round Lab. It's another Korean one. This is actually a sunscreen stick. So you can just literally apply it onto your body or face any time of the day you want. So it goes like this. You just apply it. You can see it gives a really nice sheen on the skin and it's really lightweight and not heavy. The thing I love about it is like it doesn't really leave a sticky feeling on your skin. I've never tried to use it on makeup. Keep in mind, I don't really wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just find this to be a great touch-up sunscreen to keep around. If you can get this, definitely highly, highly recommend. Next is a makeup product I discovered on Little Red Book, which is basically Chinese Instagram, I guess. It's a Chanel lip gloss. It's called Le Rouge Duo Ultra Gloss. The color I got is 154. I'm actually wearing this today and it's honestly such a genius idea. I don't know who came up with this. Maybe I'm just not so advanced when it comes to makeup. But one side of it is basically the head with the color and then you just apply it. And then on the other side, you have the gloss. Honestly, it glides on so well and my lips tend to get quite dry and this does not dry my lips out at all. And I just really like the color of it. Finally, the last, last item that I want to share with you guys that I've been loving is actually just a simple hair clip. So this is from Alessandra Paris, but these are my favorite hair clips. They're kind of expensive, but I remember when I got my first one, it was maybe second year of high my school and that single hair clip lasted me until I think third year of uni and I've just been since in love with this brand's hair clip. I don't know why specifically their product but they're super well made like you can really tell it's really nice quality everything about it is super nice i like to just clip it on my bags like i've done it on my kelly but i won't do that here i just keep it with me like this in the summer month in case it gets too hot and i need to put my hair up and these little guys are so so handy if you're ever in paris highly highly recommend to go pick these up and that's it guys i hope that it hasn't been too long of a video <laughs> because I kind of rambled on a lot about the things that I've been loving. Hopefully something in this video would be interesting to you and if you guys end up buying any of the products, if you find them useful for you, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. It makes it a lot more, I guess, interesting and valuable for me to do this kind of content for you guys. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye!